Well, so far so good, just uh, approximately two hours ago, this is what we generated, 900 watts. So if we wait a little bit, then we're gonna wrap it up to um, a kilowatt. Just testing the classic, as um, Stevie wanna see how it works, can't even wait for the wind turbine. So this is how it is. And uh, Wisbank Jr. right there. You can see it flashing. He's doing his thing. There you go. It's recording everything that is happening. How many watts and amps coming out? And let's check the state of charge. We're sitting at 99%, and the battery bank was uh, six. 05, 605 with uh, more batteries in the system and right now the system is pulling a negative you can see minus minus 6.7 because we can't compensate of what we're taking right now because the uh, sun is kind of a little bit winding down and this is what is happening so that's the state of charge right there is we pulling more than we making so if we go back here and see what um, only about 41, you know, let's see how many amps we're taking out of here. <laughs> One amp, an amp coming in. And let's see the load. So zero lo loads right now, uh, 11 watt. So let's check the loads here, which the freezer is running currently, 92, 93 watt. Okay, this one is just acting a standalone, like an inverter, not like an inverter, it's, a, it's an inverter, which um, the classic took the, the, the place of that for the Kyocera's, the A30s. All right, so now we already have the tri trimetric hooked up right there. Hope everything is right. And um, you guys can follow the videos how to set up a trimetric. And um, we are going back to set up the entire system. And the classic, um, the trimetric is going to be mon monitoring the batteries now while we're wrapping up the video here live at one amingo it's a long day we just lost an amp here it was 604 earlier so an amp is already gone so we're sitting at 99 percent and we bring in 28 watt so this is how we wrap up the video for the day thanks bye